properties of equality. The reflexive property of equality simply states that a value is equal to itself. The symmetric property of equality simply means that the left and right side of the equation can be switched. If 2 equals x, then x equals 2. Transitive property of equality. If two th things are equal to each other and the second thing is equal to a third thing, then the first thing is also equal to the third thing. If 4 equals 3 plus 1 and 3 plus 1 equals 2 plus 2, then 4 equals 2 plus 2. The addition property of equality states that adding the same number to each side of an equation gives an equivalent equation. If x minus 3 equals 7, then x minus 3 plus 3 equals 7 plus 3. Multiplication property of equality. If you multiply each side of an equation with the same non-zero number, you produce an equivalent equation. If x over 2 equals 5, then x over 2 times 2 equals 5 times 2. Let's solve linear equation in one variable using these properties, particularly symmetric addition and multiplication. Note, instead of adding a negative value to both sides of the equation, just subtract and use subtraction property of equality. Also, instead of multiplying a fraction, just divide the same value to both sides of the equation and use division property of equality. Solving linear equation in one variable. Given x minus 5 equals 10, solve for x. Our goal here is to isolate x by eliminating the other term. To eliminate negative 5, just add its opposite, which is 5. Remember that when you add 5 to the left side of the equation, add 5 also to the right side of the equation. That is addition property of equality. A number plus its opposite is 0, so x plus 0 is x. 10 plus 5 equals 15. x equals 15. Solve for x. x plus 7 equals 10. A number increased by 7 is 10. Find the number. The number is 3. But how can we show that the answer is 3? Isolate x by eliminating the other term. To eliminate 7, you can also subtract 7. Don't forget to subtract 7 to both sides of the equation. That is subtraction property of equality. 7 minus 7 is 0. x plus 0 equals x. 10 minus 7 is 3. The answer is x equals 3. A number divided by 3 is 7. Find the number x divided by 3 equals 7. Solve for x. To isolate x, multiply both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times x is x. 7 times 3 is 21. x equals 21. 5 times a number is 10. Of course, the answer is 2. But how are we going to show it algebraically? Solve for x. 5x equals 10. To isolate x, just divide both sides by 5. 5x over 5 equals 10 over 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times x is x. 10 divided by 5 is 2. The answer is x equals 2. Thrice a number less 7 is 5. Find the number. Solve for x. 
3x minus 7 equals 5. First, isolate 3x. To isolate 3x, add 7 to both sides of the equation. 3x plus 0 is 3x. 5 plus 7 is 12. 3x equals 12. But we only need x. To isolate x, divide 3 to both sides of the equation. 3x divided by 3 is x. 12 divided by 3 is 4. The answer is x equals 4. What if the variables are found in both sides of the equation? Solve for x. 4x plus 9 equals 5x. Eliminate one of the terms with a variable factor. Eliminate 4x or 5x. It's wise to eliminate the term with smaller numerical coefficient. Subtract 4x to both sides of the equation. 4x minus 4x is 0. 0 plus 9 is 9. 5x minus 4x is 1x or x. Usually, variables are written on the left side of the equation. By symmetric property of equality, 9 equals x can be written as x equals 9. What if constants and terms with variable factors are found in both sides of the equation? Solve for x. 6x minus 9 equals 4x plus 7. Add 9 to both sides of the equation. The result is 6x equals 4x plus 16. Subtract 4x to both sides of the equation. The result is 2x equals 16. To isolate x, divide both sides by 2. The result is x equals 8. Let's check. Substitute 8 for x. Is 6 times 8 minus 9 equal to 4 times 8 plus 7? Is 48 minus 9 equal to 32 plus 7? 39 equals 39. True. Properties of Equality R is the A N P O E R is the A N P O E Flexive Symmetry Transitive Addition Multiplication Property of Equality For all real numbers A, B, C The Flexive ASA ASB, then B is A, transitive ASB, and B is C, then A is C, addition of ASB, then A plus C is B plus C, multiplication of ASB, then A times C is B times C, so big equation. R is the A and P O E Again, let's see R is the A and P O E R is the A and P O E Effective symmetry Transitive addition Multiplication property Of equality Effective symmetry Transitive addition 